Good morning all of my Farmer Jack joke followers. I am Jack from Farmer Jack Jokes or Jokes by Farmer Jack and I would like to say welcome to all of you guys watching this video to a first of what we will do to promote our channel and change it a slight bit around from a faceless channel so that you guys can start seeing the face behind our wonderful channel. Now, we have tried a single live stream before just to see how it'll work, but live stream in South Africa, because we are a South African content creator, it's got a bit of issues. I stay on a farm where the internet is very, very slow at best. And even if you are in the cities, Unless you do it late at night, streaming a lot of times can become a problem. So I've decided to take this format on and let the viewers who watch all of our videos and watch all of our shorts start seeing a bit of the face behind the video. So as a first of this, who is Farmer Jack? Where do we come from? Well. In 2021, just after COVID, I've started to fizzle out. People had more time and I started doing a bit of 3D comics, telling jokes and just put it on YouTube. I had no idea of YouTube. I had no idea of what SEO was and what keywords was. I just posted the videos there. But then... In the beginning of this year, we decided to go full on with our YouTube channel. We did a little bit of a practice run towards the end of last year. And on the 9th of January, two of us started full time on our YouTube channel. Now, why did we start full time on it? The main reason is that we could see for a couple of years that things are brewing with AI, with artificial intelligence and being in South Africa the one, the couple of things we do not have, we do not have money like content creators might have in the other side of the world, in the more developed countries, money is always a very difficult thing because you sit with a currency which is currently 1 to 20 to a dollar, so you must earn 20 times the same amount to have one dollar. So what we decided was to get going with the channel and to try and stay updated with the developments of AI. So when you go to Farmer Jack Jokes or Jokes by Farmer Jack channel, you will see the older content we were purely done with a single piece of software. We've always used Create Studio, which is our video editor, and we believe it to be the best out there. But the reason we started with it because it had its own built-in 3D characters. <clears throat> and with that, with AI voices, we were able to tell jokes. Wasn't the best quality, but we could see that things started to develop. Then from the beginning of the year, we started seeing that some of the artificial intelligence uh, uh, softwares are really becoming good you uh, can could not do voiceovers but what you could do was you could generate some graphics and tell a basic story so we started using uh, depth animation uh, artificial intelligence which is text to video where you can if you can explain clearly what it is in graphical terms that you want the software on the AI uh, platform will try and generate that software for you now obviously if you use AI there's a lot of these uh, negative comment type of people which say that you should not use AI this is the new devil it's gonna take over the world and all stuff like that well, a couple of things that need to be realized is that using AI is expensive. 
it is not cheap software. You can play around with it. The guys allow you a couple of credits to see how it works. But because they are so development behind it, the creators of the software obviously need to charge a lot of money to keep the development going. So for a month and a half, we did depth animation. And then we went onto a piece of software called Runway ML where we started very early with the AI uh, uh, content creation. This helped us to learn to do the, uh, uh, the small video generation. And all we are doing on Farmer Jack Jokes, or Jokes by Farmer Jack, is we tell you a little story and we generate the voice behind it. Then, not long after that, it started to start getting lip sync capabilities where if you generate the voices behind it you can upload it to the software and the software then can sync the video if it can clearly recognize the face it can sync the video with the mouth and it can do the lips for you so once we were there we could get ourselves in a position where we can actually tell much better stories for you now so that is the path that we've walked over the last couple of years now like i said using artificial intelligence to generate graphics it's not cheap it's expensive um, using good uh, video editing software is not cheap it's expensive so the two main pieces of software that we use at Jokes by Farmer Jack is Create Studio, which we do believe it to be the best video editor. Uh, we and we are not being ad, we are not being marketed by these guys or anything. We just find it easy to work. Um, and then we have found that Runway ML is the quickest developing software as far as content creation for what we would like to do. Now, as a channel. We've got our difficulties, obviously. Number one, it costs money to generate uh, content for YouTube. No one that generates content does it for free. Even if you use a camera, it costs you money. The time you spend on it costs you money. But one of the most difficult things being a YouTube content creator is to get to a point where you can start earning a slight bit of money from that platform. Now, there's basically a couple of formats in which you can have content onto the platform. Number one, you can have a video which is in that type of format, which is fine for television, the stuff we've always known. Then you do have shorts, which is for mobile phones, which is in that format. So shorts is a type of stuff you've always seen on TikTok and those type of platforms. Now, YouTube have introduced a couple of years ago, they've introduced shorts for the platform. However, it is extremely difficult to get yourself to a point on the platform where you actually start earning a bit of money. Everything up to that stage will be costing money, costing money, whether it's in hours, whether it's in equipment, whether it's in renting softwares, having laptop computers, paying for power, paying for additional content creators etc 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 but that's the path we decided we want to walk and we are fortunate that we have been around now for three years and we have two permanent content creators which are well trained within the sphere of ai and which is well trained within the sphere of the video editing now at the moment there are three of us working full-time on this content and it's not only jokes by farmer jack we have got a vision to have a, another channel which should be our main channel but jokes by farmer jack is an excellent learning platform we can learn anything by everything about youtube we meet wonderful people we meet a lot of people in the comedy uh, uh, sphere on youtube so that is absolutely wonderful we are a faceless channel and that's why we have decided to do this form of video so that you can start seeing the face behind the channel now except for 
except for shorts and for long form content long form content anything longer than a minute and which is normally in a format of a television which is made for a bigger screen and shorts which is short which is under a minute and made for mobile phone now the other thing that is coming very much through uh, is obviously live streaming live streaming like i said has got a bit of a couple of issues for the content that we make and it's mainly that for that type of content we need a very stable internet connection a very quick internet connection to make it worth and then obviously uh, most of our viewers are not from south africa so they are in other time zones so when you want to live stream it'll be middle of the night it will be 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the morning in south africa time um so yeah a couple of things which keeps us back from going full-time into live stream perhaps later but for now we have decided that this is more format in which we would like to communicate with our community now so where is farmer jack jokes or jokes by Farmer Jack, where are we at this stage? Well, having started full time on the channel on the 9th of January this year, we had 5,000 subscribers from 2001 to then. And uh, sorry, we had 5,000 views and we had 63 subscribers. That's where we were. So then we started full time and we started with a specific strategy for starters and that strategy was to build subscribers. Now one can be criticized on YouTube for doing it in a specific way but there's no one around us which is a big YouTuber which can say hey Jack do it this way or do it that way you know so we have to learn by making mistakes and then obviously watching youtube see what other people say but it's always a big problem in that you must try and use your own common sense to try and figure out are these people you know try telling the truth or let's try something see how it works so yeah so that's what we started with with a strategy of building subscribers now we know that long form stories is what we love to do unfortunately it is a very slow process building long form content so we decided to go big time into shorts and lo and behold we've met that uh, target of us of growing the channel significantly as far as subscribers go and most of those subscribers were built with the promotional uh, tools which we had shorts obviously being the biggest one and then we used Google Ads and we used a little bit of YouTube promotion to see how that worked and listening to what other people say. But we were able to build our channel to 65,000 subscribers. Now, that is wonderful and I thank each and every one of you that have assisted us, that have watched our videos, that helped our channel grow. It is absolutely wonderful. However, when you want to get to a point where you would like to just earn the money eventually on YouTube to pay for your expenses that is an absolute basic it's a long process to walk in YouTube is a very very difficult uh, platform to work on if that is one of the things you need to do now because it costs you money that is something you will always have to consider you will always have to try and build it to that level where you would like to just earn to cover your bills so in order to do that on YouTube you need to have shorts you can do it by shorts but with shorts you need 10 million views within within a three month period which is, which is practically impossible they give that criteria which is in my opinion impossible because you've got no control of who those shorts are shown to YouTube will put it in the feed and most people see, will see the same effect of that short it will sit stationary for a couple of hours then it will run and then it will absolutely flatline and most likely never will anyone come back to that that is one place where YouTube is a little bit behind platforms like TikTok whereby TikTok 
if you like that specific video you can just swipe into that guy's videos and watch all of his videos you do not have that functionality with a short the second problem with the shorts is that no bell notification as far as youtube go is done by shorts now i've got a Joey, I've got a Joey. No, I've got a sheepdog here with me, which lives with me on the farm, and he's running around my little frame to try and keep the the phone steady while he's playing. Joey, come on. Okay, so there we are back. So shorts, uh, you cannot. You, there's no bell notification, so there's no notification that tells you that. F joke by Farmer Jack. I've loaded the short, unless. YouTube suggested to you. So you are all up to YouTube to promote your content, as far as shorts go. Now, when it comes to the longer form content, which is ideally the content which we would like to generate, because we can have much more creative uh, uh, way of telling stories, the uh, for that you can build subscribers, but unfortunately those subscribers are not the short subscribers. Short subscribers watch their content on their mobile phone and they do not watch the content on the uh, on their television like the historical uh, YouTube uh, viewers used to do. But unfortunately if you want to earn, generate eventually a form of income from YouTube, you need to be in that sphere as well. Now, a lot of creators have moved over, like I said, to live streaming because live streaming videos do count for longer form. It's a little bit of a disadvantage for me uh, from our perspective, mainly because of our internet, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so that's a little bit about Farmer Jack jokes, jokes by Farmer Jack, a little bit about our, where we are, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for that have subscribed to our channel, that have watched our videos up to this stage. We're going into a second part of the year and we have adjusted our strategy now to trim back a slight bit on the shorts, but work on much better content for our longer form. Now at Jokes by Farmer Jack, we call our shorts funny short jokes because it's short, it's 60 seconds and under. And we call our longer form story jokes or short story jokes or funny story jokes. It used to be cartoon story jokes when we just used to do cartoons. Today we generate uh, lifelike characters telling the stories. Now we have got two brilliant content creators, uh, Danelle and Vanessa which are properly trained in everything they need to do. They are using the latest technology of AI. There's nothing new, new on the market that we do not use. It is now about taking the creativity of your mind and putting it over into a story. Now, a lot of people think, ah, oh, they use AI, they press a button and there's a video on YouTube. Now that's one thing I would like to talk about because I do get a lot of negative comments on the channel because we use AI. Now let me tell for those people, I hope you watch this video and I would like you to use AI and go generate a video on the same level that ours are and see what it takes to get it on YouTube. Because for starters, when you generate the video, the first thing you need to do is you need to have a story. Now the story normally comes from some form of a joke where there's a bit of a story that ends in a punchline. That is the basis of all jokes. Now a funny story is still a joke. It's still got a story that leads into a punchline. However, that story needs to be written. And in our case, uh, Danelle writes most of our stories. She's very good with story writing. She get assistance from AI. When we use AI, we do not use chat GPT or one of those. We stick by using everything from Google and YouTube's platform. So whether we do promotions, we will use them. Whether we use AI to assist with our storytelling, we will use them. So we use Gemini AI to assist us with the story. Now, the story will be written complete by the now normally. And then 
it'll be fed into AI and say, let's say you want to make the story 200 words longer. You want to add more funniness to the story. You want to change uh, the, the grammar a little bit in it. The AI is extremely good in doing that for you. Uh, sometimes, when it comes to a joke, AI don't understand what a punchline is, so you must give it a whole story. Your story might be 500 words, and if you want to do a 4-minute video, you're aiming at about 700 words. So then you can feed it into AI, it can clearly state that this is the punchline, the basis of the story cannot be changed, and then you can continue to do the story. Uh, uh, they can continue to generate it for you. Now, so the stories we write ourselves, and then we will run it through AI, I would say, one out of every two videos, stories that we write, we do run it through AI to see if we can tweak it a bit, okay? So, once you've got a story, you cannot now just take that story and pump it into a piece of software and get a video. Now, videos, in order to get it in a video, you need to break up your story into shorter bits and the video can generate for you up to 10 seconds a runway ml video with a new level of software which is gen 3 it can generate for you up to 10 seconds so you will normally generate anything that you need to have voiceovers and you need to have voice syncs you will generate those voices first decide on the character decide on the age of that character you must have in your mind what that character needs to look like because once you generate the character, you would now like to upload voice and get the software to sync it with the mouth and the nose, etc., etc. So it's quite a complex process. But yeah, so we generate the voices where we're going to have lip sync. Then we generate all the videos that is going to tell the story as the storyline flows. And once we got all of those, then we need to bring it all into a video editor and then we need to edit the video, put background music to it, do, uh, uh, do all the tweaks to the video, do the uh, fading between the videos. And once all of those are done by our content creators, which is Danelle and Vanessa, then that is brought to me and I will do some post editing on it. I will spend two hours on that video, have a look at it, see if I can tweak it, adjust the level of the sound a little bit, do a lot of stuff on that video before we publish that video out of our video editor, which is Create Studio, publish it out of our video editor, and then we have got a full video. Now, that is two days worth of work to get you there on a four minute video. So for a content creator, two minutes worth of videos, now you're there. Now that video is not on YouTube, now I need to go load that video on YouTube and a lot of people just press a couple of buttons and they sit back and the video is being uploaded. The four minute video takes us about three, four hours to load onto YouTube because not only do we load that video, we need to do our SEO on it. We need to do the keyword the research on it to see what is viable for it. We need to do uh, the subtitles in different languages and we put 20 languages behind every subtitles and we make sure there's five African languages because we are from South Africa and we would like eventually for South Africans to like our content. So, give it another three hours, now your video is live on YouTube and then we normally won't put it live, we will normally schedule it for when the ideal time according to YouTube is to release your video. So that's the basis of making a, a funny story. So give it two and a half days and a four minute video is done there for you. So anyone that thinks, ah, get away from AI, show me which other format where you can go sit for two and a half days will give you a video. I am doing a video from my mobile phone now and I will tell you it'll be four minutes at least and it will not take two and a half days to get it on YouTube. So to generate with AI, Yes, it costs more expensive and it's much more difficult, it's much more technical, it's much more skill needed and it's absolutely much more difficult generating content like that. To anyone that criticizes us for using AI, please go make your own, con own content, see how long it takes because I will make this video, I will post it on YouTube so I'll have a good idea.
how long it takes. Okay, so that's a couple of things I would like to have discussed with you guys today. Now, just for you guys to know who is Farmer Jack, why are we Farmer Jack, where are we, what are we doing? My name is Jacques Kutsia. I am from Port Elizabeth, South Africa, uh, one of the most beautiful countries in the world, without a doubt. Anyone has ever been to South Africa, the one thing that they will tell you is most beautiful place, most beautiful people, lovely stuff. However, we are poor, developing country. We have got a lot of issues, um, but it's a wonderful country. It's winter here by us. That's why I'm sitting here in the sun with a jacket on, because a little bit earlier, it was probably close to zero degrees Celsius. Now, I know for a lot of people that's not winter, but for our as they call us burkis, that is cold. We don't know snow here. We know summer where it's 40 degrees C, up to that type of level. But in the winter when it gets down close to zero and your windows of your car freeze up, for us that's very cold. So yes, that's where we are. Uh, my name is Jacques Utsia. The reason why we became Jack is just a Jacques. It's the same name that for the older people that remember Jacques Estelle, which was the father of the Aqualung. Jacques is not such a international acceptable name. Jack is small, so it became Jack. Farmer Jack, I do stay on a farm. I love staying where, where I am. I like love staying in the felt. It's wonderful. And then obviously we do jokes. So it's jokes by Farmer Jack or Farmer Jack jokes, however you want to call it. So that's who we are. There are three people working on our channel. I'm going to do more of this content. And the next thing I'm going to do is once this video is released and I've introduced myself, I'm going to start telling some of our jokes of last week. I'm going to come sit with the camera. I'm going to tell you the jokes. I'm going to edit some of it into the videos so that you can see what you've missed and then hopefully go watch our jokes. So thank you very much for watching the first of this level of raw Farmer Jack jokes uh, uh, content. This is as raw as it gets. I've got a little bit of a stand. I've got my mobile phone because I don't want to spend money on fancy uh, cameras and stuff. I do believe I can get the message over to all of you guys in exactly the same way. So yes, I'm sitting here in the felt. It's wonderful. Here where I sit at the moment, there was huge, were huge floods about a month and a half ago. The whole place was destroyed. But yeah, I took a walk up here, sitting here nice in the sun, telling you guys what we do. So please continue to watch our content. We will continue to do shorts. We will continue to do long form content. We will trim down a little bit. Jokes by Farmer Jack will continue to run all of their content, but we will do a little bit more of this type of content. And then we are planning on starting with a new channel within the next month, which is something which all of the training that we've done by Jokes and Farmer Jack will be well worth it for the channel that we're gonna start, which will be a lifetime uh, path which we will walk. So thank you very much. The next video, please watch it. When it's Farmer Jack Raw, I will tell you some of our jokes. I will tell the jokes myself, even though we have generated it. And you can have a look at what it looks like when we tell it on AI. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching our channel. Please keep watching all of our content. Cheers.